finally, my new house tour. But before we start to tour it, I would like to thank all my community, my YouTube community, my Twitch community, because without you guys, it just wouldn't be possible. And also, I would like to mention that all the designs in this house are made by me and my production team in Cinema 4D. So pretty much everything what you're gonna be seeing right now, it is just our ideas. So let's begin our tour. Um, over here you see, this is the main entrance to the house. On the right hand side, there is two built-in storages. Uh, I really do like them because they have, uh, they are really minim minimalistic and there is nothing popping out. On the left hand side, there is a first level bathroom. In the house, there is total two bathrooms. Uh, this, was in this, this one is the smallest one. Um, I really like the colors and it's really cozy. As we enter the living room, on the left hand side, there's my favorite place of the house, kitchen. Maybe some one of you have already seen this place since I did some couple of cooking streams on my Twitch channel. But if we talk about the kitchen, there is a lot of uh, built-in storage over here. This is a um, uh, freezer, fridge freezer, uh, oven, a microwave and a coffee machine. And also my favorite part of the kitchen, the island. This is the main place where you hang out with your friends, family, whenever someone is coming over. This is just super a cozy place um, and everyone is just liking to sit here, chat with each other. Here there is also an uh, inductional uh, hub with the extractor. I'm actually really happy that nowadays there are such type of solutions where they build in the extractor because it makes your island look super clean, super min minimalistic and I just really enjoy it. Uh, and on the island there is also built in a storage for the knives and also for the uh, spices which you can just easily open like this and take whatever you need whilst you cook. And when you step further, um, there is a double light which makes this place look super uh, wide and really bright since a lot, of, a lot of natural light is coming in. And I think this is one of the things which makes this house super unique and special. On the left hand side, there is a boiler room which I'm not gonna show to you because there's a lot of mess. A couple steps away from the kitchen, uh, there is the living room uh, which is kind of connected with the kitchen because there's no walls in between and uh, it makes this space uh, look really spacious and huge. So basically there is a sofa which I think it fits in perfectly into the house design and uh, I love everything about it. Uh, also a table and a TV on the gallery stand which I really do like it uh, because when you sometimes watch TV during the mornings, evenings um, and you can see as well the nature through the window and it's an absolutely different experience. Over here I have my little lounge zone with the two husk chairs in the middle and also Ergofocus fireplace uh, which is just amazing and I love the design of this uh, fireplace. You can also spin it around and put in any direction you want, uh, but I normally keep it just in the middle. And I think to have a fireplace in such a cold country as I do live is just a must be because during the winter times it just brings this um, coziness, uh, extra warmth into the house and I really do love uh, this fireplace. It is one of my favorite places for sure to sit just in the evenings again, read books and just uh, enjoy your free time. There is the main dining area. Uh, this table is made out of the oak and uh, it is really spacious and can fit up to 12 people. And actually this winter me and my family did celebrate Christmas over here for the very first time. I would like to show you one last thing in this first level uh, of the house. It is my main streaming room. Some people even do not notice that there is actually a room over here, but there is. This is my main place where I spend majority of my time, my Logitech G streaming room. Welcome. house is made in a minimalistic design, streaming room is as well. On the table I do have two PCs which is gaming PC and streaming PC and since the day one when I started to stream the peripheral choice was always to Logitech G. So you can see the Logitech G915T KL keyboard for the gaming and streaming PC, G Pro wired mouse for the gaming PC, wireless one for the stream PC, G Pro headsets and blue dragonfly microphone which I've been using for three years absolutely love it. And over here, my favorite Logitech G Herman Miller chair. I would like to thank my Logitech G family for being with me during this three year of the journey. I have grown a lot as a person and as a streamer with them. Thank you so much Logitech G for being with me. Here mainly I keep different kind of things which are related to stream, different kind of gaming hoodies or everything what I get uh, from the gaming. It is over here. Uh, in this room, I do have as well a sofa. This sofa you can transfer as well as an extra sleeping bed. So if someone will gonna come over, I'm gonna always have space uh, to, uh, for them to stay uh, overnight. And now, are you ready to see the second floor? 
let's go. And we're heading over to the second floor. And this place contains three rooms, master bedroom, a big bathroom, and also editing room with an extra bedroom, which I'm gonna be showing to you right now. in the editing room, which I did create specifically for my production team, where we gather normally all together at evenings, we brainstorm about upcoming projects or the projects which, we're, which we are working for currently, even though sometimes my production team works here whilst I stream. Um, yeah, this uh, table is made again from the AUK, uh, which is as, as well adjustable, you can put any height. This minimalistic looking PC, which uh, looks way more better than those big boxes um, and it fits really good on this table and also this pc is going to be legendary to me because on this pc on the scene number 4d this house was created as i mentioned at the beginning of this video um, posters of my favorite films and uh, tv shows as breaking bad the flash forrest gump and the blade runner so the main gear which we use in this editing room is the blue uh, headset they are not gaming headsets, they're uh, meant for to work with the professional sound like music making and editing. So this specific headset helps us a lot in this editing room. Also recently, I did receive the Logitech G Shrouds mouse. At the beginning, I couldn't understand the shape of it, but now I started to enjoy to work with it a lot. Logitech G915T KL keyboard, Blue Daddy X microphone. The monitor we use only one over here, which is 21 by nine aspect ratio. And also sounds, uh, sound monitors, which is Rocket 5. Here is one of my favorite shelves of the house where I keep all my cameras over here. In total, I have four cameras, uh, black magic and uh, red one, which is right now on the gimbal. Also my lens collection and pretty much everything what is related to uh, filming. Sometimes my production team may work till late time so they can just lay down here and sleep overnight and uh, build in storage again. When you exit the editing room over here, there is a space where floor is made from the glass. You can see everything what is happening in the kitchen, also a little bit in the living room. This space is not finished yet. I'm planning to make here a library with the two sofas where you can just sit down, relax, maybe read some books and enjoy the time with yourself. Entering this door, we're heading to the master bedroom. where I sleep. Probably the best bedroom I have ever had in my life because of this incredible view through the window. Every single morning I wake up with the view to the lake, to the nature. It just gives you so much energy, power and positive emotions. It is just incredible to wake up here every single morning. On the wall, I have a big TV, uh, which is really amazing because you can put different kind of artworks on it. And whenever you change different kind of art, it also makes a different mood in this room. Through the master bedroom, you can instantly enter the bathroom. But before we do, there is also a wardrobe over here. I did create this unique shelf where I store all my favorite shoes. And also there's a lot of buildings over here where I just uh, store outfits. We are entering right now to the bathroom, which is connected to my ba master bedroom. On the right hand side, um, you can see her and his sink, which I thought must be in a modern house. Also tube, it is really huge, but it's really amazing to take a bath over here, just relax and enjoy your time. Shower, which, uh, which is really minimalistic. You just enter here like this, open and uh, do your things. And behind this wall, there is a viral closet, but I'm not gonna show it to you. Obviously, there is also a door which leads you to the second floor bathroom. And now, let's head over to the first floor and put some fire into the fireplace. So for the conclusion, I would like to share my thoughts with you. I'm really glad that I didn't invest into this house because right now market price has raised up by 40%. So currently it costs way more than I initially did spend on it. Thank you so much guys again for watching this tour. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It would help me a lot to build the future content for you. Like and comment the video and I see you soon.